Yo, what's going on my people? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over why Pavlov Zombies needs an update. So let's get straight into it. So you know, I've never had a problem with Pavlov Zombies. I actually thought it was a pretty fun game mode. But the more and more I've played Pavlov Zombies, it just seems to get old really fast and it gets very boring. If you haven't played Pavlov Zombies, basically the entire game mode is just to survive a horde of zombies. And every round that you survive, it spawns in a crate full of weapons. Now that sounds pretty fun. And I thought it was fun too, until I played Contractors VR. You see, Contractors VR just added a brand new game mode and it's actually zombie survival. And after experiencing what Contractors Zombies has to offer, I had to make this video. You see, in Contractors VR, it's not as bare bones as Pavlov. You see, in Contractors, you have a currency when you kill zombies. You can use this currency, which I'm gonna call blood money, to buy weapons, ammo, upgrades, grenades, flashbangs, you can basically buy whatever you want. And believe it or not, this actually adds a lot more to the zombies formula. Because unlike Pavlov zombies and Contractors, you do not have infinite ammo. And the zombies get stronger and stronger for each round. And believe it or not, this actually builds a lot of suspense and makes you fear the zombies more more than you do in Pavlov. Where in Pavlov you can just sit in a corner and have infinite ammo and just headshot all the zombies, Contractors makes you stay on your feet and aware of all the zombies that are around you because if you aren't, you're going to get taken out. Because not only are there regular zombies, but there's dog zombies and also boss zombies to worry about. And to be able to take these boss zombies out, you're going to need some upgrades and that's what the upgrade points are for. With these upgrade points, you can do a lot. There's specific skill trees that you can go down, some are more health, some are more damage, and some are more sprint speed. And those are just some of the basic upgrades that you can get. So as you can see, there's really a lot to keep you playing Contractor Zombies. Maybe next game you'll get a different weapon, or go down a different skill tree. What I'm trying to say is there's a lot of gameplay variety. Whereas in Pavlov, all you do is sit in a corner and just headshot the zombies. Like yeah, it's fun for the first 10 minutes, but after that, you really just get bored. Now there are some complaints with Contractor Zombies that I do have. One being that after, I believe, around Wave 8, the game just ends. Now I don't know why the developers just decided to end the game after a certain wave but you should be able to keep going and the zombies get stronger just like call of duty zombies that was one that really frustrated me also there's only one map to play on in contractor zombies whereas in pavlov you have a multitude of maps also in contractors the zombies are just really wonky and they can hit you from really far away so i believe pavlov does have better zombie ai but it doesn't matter how good your ai is if the gameplay loop is very boring then i'm just not gonna play it for a long time i believe if dave were to update the zombie mode pavlov zombies could be really big he already has the foundation set in place now all he has to do is expand on it even if he were to just add some things that are in contractors i would be fine with that it would make it way more fun all you'd have to do is to make it to where the zombies have more health each round and every zombie kill that you get you get more money to buy upgrades and attachments and just add some boss zombies every five rounds like the fat guy from contractors or the dogs or maybe even the alien from the hide now how cool would that be imagine you're doing your thing just fighting some zombies and in the middle of the round an invisible alien just starts attacking you out of nowhere I mean, the potential is sky high. Pavlov Zombies is just way too underrated right now, and it needs to be updated. Another thing that needs to be updated is the Pavlov Zombie models. They just look like vampires. They don't really look like zombies to me. But that's just a minor nitpick. I believe every game mode in Pavlov is worth playing except for Prop Hunt because it's not finished, and Zombies because it's just too boring. And if Dave does update Zombies, he needs to make some zombie-specific maps because zombies love to bug out in Pavlov. Whenever you get on top of something or at an elevated height in Pavlov, the zombies just freak out the AI just starts bugging out and they twitch in the corner and it's just is really weird he can either make zombie specific maps or add a climbing animation to the zombies which would be even more cool he could even throw in some zombie specific weapons in there kind of like the wonder weapons from call of duty now I do know Pavlov had a community server where it was Nazi zombies from call of duty they even had the ray gun in there and I actually talked about that in my video, 15 Things You Didn't Know About Pavlov. But even that felt really incomplete, but it still was more fun than the regular Pavlov Zombies. I believe with a proper update to Pavlov Zombies, that Dave could really make something special. I mean, I used to buy Call of Duty not for the multiplayer, but for the zombies. And there was a good reason why. It had an amazing gameplay loop, and it'd have you coming back and playing more each time. Trying to beat your friends and how many rounds you could survive. And if Dave could replicate that feeling in VR, he'd probably strike some gold. But anyways, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below if you want Pavlov Zombies to be updated or if you think Pavlov Zombies is just fine the way it is. I'm speaking for the community when I make these videos so I want you guys to leave your opinion down in the comments. Also don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more VR content like this. Also shout out to these amazing people for becoming channel members. Anyways guys, peace out.